This is an 18 volt DeWalt drill and it's from the XYP range and replacing parts on a drill like this is very easy because it is designed so that you can replace parts when they wear out and uh, most of the parts on here are extremely easy to change uh, and I'm going to demonstrate now how to change the clutch and torque mechanism which is this band here uh, because that can break over time and that's the bit that actually controls the torque of the drill and puts it in hammer action or into the drill position so we're just going to replace that bit and it's actually got the chuck already on it which makes it easier uh, if you need to replace the chuck it's very easy I have done a, a video on how to get a chuck off and how to replace a chuck so we're just going to replace the actual clutch and torque mechanism here and it is very simple so this is the unit we're going to be putting on and you'll see that it's currently in position number one so whatever position this one is in you need to set your drill to the same position so as you can see I've set the drill to position number one so we can leave the battery on and all we need to do is remove these four screws which are Torx edge screws now what we need to do is leave the gearbox in position but we need to take the clutch and torque assembly off the front so if we just tip it back slightly and then hold that lever using your forefinger and just pull forwards and there you go you've actually released the clutch mechanism and the torque mechanism from the drill and then if you look in there there's a hole at the bottom and that is where that part's actually aligned, so we need to get that aligned. So if we just put that there. And then just turn the chuck until it engages. So it's actually slotted straight into position now, so we can now put the four screws back in. So we've now tightened up the four screws and we've now successfully changed the torque control unit on the drill. That's one of the benefits of buying a machine like this. If anything goes wrong with it, it's quite easy to fix it yourself. Uh, a lot of the parts are modular and it's just a case of changing them over.